What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a leak code challenge of K closest points in the origin. So this is called find the K closest points to origin. And it's another heap problem. So you're given a list of points on a plane. Now we got to find the K closest points to the origin. So the first point they give us was uh, in the example is 1, 3, negative 2, and 2. So they give us the point 1, 3. Hope you guys could see this. Yeah, you could. Okay. 1, 3, negative 2, and 2. And that point, if we graph it on this graph, it's 1, 1, 1, 2. Say so this is 1, and this is 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 3 is here. And then negative 2 is here. Let's say this is negative 1, negative 2. Negative 2, 2 is here. All right. So this is the first point, and this is the second point, right? And basically, they want us to find the k closest points in the or to the origin based on the Euclidean distance. So using the distance formula for this point, it would be the distance for the point 1, 3 is going to be 1 square plus 3 square and square root. So in this distance is going to be uh, 1 plus 9, which is square root of 1 plus 9 is square root of 10. Yeah, so this distance is square root of 10. For this uh, point P1, we'll call this P1, P1, okay, point 1. And we'll call this point 2. And point 2's distance is going to be two, negative 2 square plus 2 square and then square root. And that's 4 plus 4, which is square root of 4 plus 4, which is square root of 8. So this distance, the second point P2, is going to be square root of 8. So they want us to find the k closest point to the origin. Okay, so what does that mean? That means the whichever is the closest value to the origin, that would be the the shortest distance to the origin. So in this case, if if uh, k is equal to 1, that means I want to find the shortest point to the origin, that uh, which is the first closest point to, er to origin. That's going to be, based on this distance, it would be square root of 8, which is p2. And because of that, be the reason why it's square root of 8 is because this distance is the smallest out of the first two points, right? Because square root of 8 is less than square root of 10. They, they, they want us to return p2. So that would be negative 2, 2. So if k equals to 1, the smallest distance towards the origin is going to be uh, square root of 8, and they want us to return that point, which is negative 2, 2. Okay? Okay, so that's only for k equals to 1, which is uh, the first closest point to the origin. Now what if it's the second closest point? So in the second example, we're gonna, we have another example here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna flip the page over. In the second example, we have the values of 3, 3, 5, negative 1, uh, negative 2, 4. Okay, so these are the points we have, and they want us to find k equal 2, which is the two, clo uh, two closest points to the origin. That's what it means, okay? So if I were to draw this val the values on in a graph, 3, 3, we'll call this P1, P2, P2, P3. So P1 is 3, 3. So P1's distance is going to be square root of 3 square plus 3 square, and that's going to be square root of 18. So this distance is going to be square root of 18. Uh, let's see, P2 is going to be 5, negative 1, so into 5, negative 1. 
and its distance is going to be 5 squared plus negative 1 squared, and that's going to be 25 plus 1, which is square root of 26. So this, is this, this distance, square root of 26, is going to be P2. P3's distance is going to be negative 2 square plus 4 square, square root of that. That's going to be 4 plus 16, which is square root of 20. And that's going to be this distance, negative 2, 4. So negative 2, 4, and this is going to be P3. And this is going to have a distance of square root of 20. So we want to find the two closest points to the origin. And in this case, it's going to be the two smallest values with the smallest distance because the, that is the two closest points to the origin, right? It's the two smallest values, okay? So in this case, it would be square root of 18 and square root of 20. And what is square root of, so the two, if k equals the two, two closest, uh, two closest points to origin is gonna be P1 and P3. P1 and P3, because they have the smallest square square roots, right? P1 and P3. The reason why is because their distances are the smallest, smallest compared to the other ones, compared to P2, uh, yeah. So the two closest points of origin is P1 and P3, mainly because of their distance. Like if the if I put the distances, the distance of P1, then we square root of 18, distance of P2, I mean, not P2, P3 is square root of 20. Out of all these distances, square root of 18, square root of 20 is the two closest points to the origin because they have the smallest distance to, uh, towards the origin. So this problem could be break broken down into, uh, well, sorry guys, can you see it? Yeah. So this problem basically comes down to the same problem that we saw in the first two videos. It's basically, the same thing as finding the kth smallest value in an array, mainly. Because the only difference that they changed here is that the they added a different, another point, like a two, two coordinates, that's the only thing they added. And the only thing they added was uh, rather than doing Rather than actually finding the kth smallest points, kth smallest elements in an array, they're doing it based on distance, right? So this is basically the same problem as finding the kth smallest uh, element in an array, okay? So how do we do this? For one thing, as I showed you before, we could calculate every distance between every point to the origin using the distance formula. Then we could sort it put the values into an array, sort it, and then we loop through from the beginning towards k, and that would give us the the, the values that are the kth closest to the origin. Like if I were to add all these distances, so let's say I put these values into an array, square root of 18, square root of 26, square root of 20. Okay, this is gonna be P1, P2, P3. Then I sort it, sort the values. This is after sorting. I'm gonna get square root of 18, square root of 20, square root of 26. So the corresponding value, if I want to find the two closest points to the origin, is to be the smallest values uh, in our array after sorting. And that would be, whoops, yeah, hope you guys can see it. Uh, I can't see it from here, but yeah, that would be square root of 18 and square root of 20. So if we put all the values into an array and then sort it, we would get, and iterate from the index 0, 1, 2, we would get the right values. Okay, now, what is the issue with this? The problem is that the space if we were have to cap with that, if we were going to do it this way, we would have to basically add all the values of size n into an array, sort it, then iterate from the beginning towards up to k, k2, which is like a 
and k up to k, which is 2, go up to 2, then we, we could get the answer like that. But the problem with that is that adding the values to the array, then sorting it is going to take n log n, and then the space complexity would be size n. We want to lower that. We don't want to use all of the value, all the points inside the space. So we could change the complexity down towards size of k using a heap. Okay. So just as using a heap, we're going to do it this way. Okay. So if you were to use a heap, let's say because they want the smallest values, small the k smallest values based on the distance towards the origin. If I were to use a min heap, right, that put all the small values in the beginning, I could use a min heap, and then that basically I could do exactly the same thing as sorting here, basically what it's doing. You're going to keep adding the values into the min heap up to size n of n points, because there's n, n, there's n points, right, up to size n. If you keep adding the values up to the size n, and use a min heap, then we could keep, um, after we add all the values into the min heap, it's, it's going to be sorted in uh, increasing order, so the smallest values in the beginning. Then if you were to keep removing the first value, you would get the, uh, if you keep removing the first value up to the size of k, you would get the k closest points to the origin. Problem with this is that it's exactly the same thing as the previous issue of maintaining size of n in our heap. So that's an issue. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a max heap. We're going to create a max heap of size k equal to 2, of k equal to 2. And then we'll do the, exactly the same thing as what we did in the previous videos of instead of finding the k -th largest value, of our array, we're gonna find the kth smallest value of array, okay? So if I were to maintain a heap, I'm gonna get a separate sheet of paper. If I were to calculate all the values using the distance formula from the origin and then maintain a size of k equal to Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Maintain a size of k equal to two. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. So, based on our previous points, we have square root of 18, square root of 26, square root of 20. And these are the distances in our array. We want the kth smallest values in our array. So what I'm gonna do, Let's say k equals to 2. I'm going to create a size, a max heap of size 2 of size of k, which is in this case is 2, that maintains the values, max heap. Okay? I'm going to iterate from the array, and I'm going to add the values into the, my max heap. So in this case, I'm going to add square root of 18 and square root of 26. Max heap is going to sort these, so after this iteration, max heap, what it does is it's going to put the largest values first, then the smallest values. So we're going to have square root of 26 and square root of 18. After it does this, right, once my max heap is filled up to k equal 2, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep iterating through my array. So in this case, I'm going to go to the next value, square root of 20. Is 20, is square root of 20 less than the first value of my max heap? Yes, it is. So what am I, go what am I gonna do? I'm gonna remove the first value of my max heap and then add square root of 20. So in this case, it's gonna add square root of 20 like this, but then because of it's a max heap, it's gonna reorder these values using heapify. So it's gonna like swap so this is actually going to change into square root of 20 and then square root of 18, right? 
the next race square root of 20 and square root of 18. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to get an eraser. This seems hard to read. Yeah. So once I add square root of 20, square root of 18 is going to be square root of 20 and square root of 18. And because it's a max heap. Then, after I'm done with the array, pretty much, at the end of the, my iteration of my array, I'm going to have a size of all the values of the case closest points to the origin, square root of 20 and square root of 18. And that's exactly the same thing as what we had in the previous example of square root of 18 and square root of 20. So now the problem is, is that we need to also maintain the, we also have to maintain, we have to get the points, the specific points. And to do that, what we could do is that in our implementation, we could uh, pair up every distance with the index of the po each point in the array. All right guys, so now we're gonna do how to code this up. Basically, k the closest points to the origin first. We gotta calculate the distance towards the origin first. So what am I gonna do first? Uh, First, I gotta move the mic for a second. Create a double. It's gonna return a double, and I'm gonna call this distance. This is gonna be the distance towards the origin for given a point. So I'm gonna call this point. Point, remember, based on the example, a point just is just an array that has two values, the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So to do this, I'm just gonna do return square root of point at zero. Remember, a squared plus b squared. And the square root of that, so a square, that's point at zero, plus b square, which is the same, which is point at one, and then square root that. That's what this distance is going to do. Now, what I'm going to do is they want the k closest points, okay, right? They want you to return the the an array, an array, two D array that has the k closest points. So I'm going to basically do create my 2D array called to return and it's going to be size k because that's going to it's going to return that. I'm going to return that in the end. Okay, so now what am I going to do? Well, I need a I need a max heap and I basically need to calculate the distances from every point. And uh, yeah, add it to my max heap with its respected, um, with its index that it's at. So I'm gonna do that here. So I'm gonna do four i equals zero. I is less than points dot size i plus plus. This is gonna be going through every single point. Now what am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna calculate the distance. I'm gonna add so to to add distance. Right, distance between every point to the origin, so that's going to be points at i. So that's going to get me the distance to the origin. Now, I need to get create my now I got to create my max heap, and my max heap is going to contain the size of k that I'm going to add. So to do that, I'm going to create my max heap here, priority queue. This is how you create a max heap in C++. Uh, it's going to be a I have to pair the max heap with, uh, pair each distance with its corresponding index of the point that it's at in the array so that in the end of my iteration, I could actually get the actual points and not just the distance. So I have to use a pair, it's gonna be double. Double is representing the distance. And then I'm gonna pair it with its corresponding index, okay? Then I'm gonna use this vector. The priority queue is gonna have Pretty much it's going to be a vector represented okay now because it's a max heap uh, it's going to how pair so how because it's a max heap I don't have to pass in a comparator because in C++ max heaps are actually the exact same thing like priority queues are normally in 
are basically max heaps. So yeah, I don't have to pass anything for my comparator. But if I want to change it to a min heap, I have to have pass a comparator. Yeah. So in C++, the comparator to comparing pairs, they already compare based on the first value for each pair. So I'm good for that. So yeah, I don't have to pass a comparator for that. Okay, so now I'm going to do if, if my max heap is size is greater than k, no, is less than k, then I'm going to add the corresponding distance to my max heap. So max heap dot push, add the corresponding distance to add distance and its corresponding index that it's at in the array. So I'm going to do that here, push. It's going to push the the distance and its corresponding index into the array. And uh, this is a pair, yeah, push this, the pair of the index, the distance and the index. Yeah, this is what it does, okay. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if the top of the max heap so what is my top of my max heap? So the max, so, okay. So I have to check if the distance that I'm going through in my array, remember we're looping through our array. We have to check if that distance is less than the distance for the top of our max heap. So going back to here, let's see again. Uh, is square root of 20 less than the top of our max heap distance? Yes. And then we do that. So yeah, we have to check if the distance we're adding is less than the distance of the top of our max heap. And what is the distance of the top of our max heap? Well, okay, so our max heap is a pair corresponding the distance and the index of it. So the first value is going to be the distance of it. Right, our max heap is consists of a pair of the distance to the origin and the index of each pair in the array. So the distance is going to be dot first because that's the first pair, first value in the pair. Yeah. So we're going to do that. If it's less than the top of our max heap, we're going to remove the first value of our max heap, do a pop, and then we're going to push the distance, push the distance and its corresponding index to it. Okay, and that's basically how we're gonna do it. That's basically how you do this problem. Now, when we get to the end, now I need to add the corresponding points. I need to get the points, not the distances of our max heap. So I'm going to go through all the values of my max heap. So while size greater than zero, I'm going to pop each value. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the each point to the array that I'm returning. So the array I'm returning has size of k. So I'm going to start at an index of zero. This is representing the, the position of each value I'm going to add to my array. So I'm going to do to return at index is going to equal to the first value of our max heap, which is max heap dot top. And that's going to be top dot second. Top dot second, this is the index. Remember, this is the index of each pair of each uh, point, right, of each distance. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to use this index to get the actual point points. So I'm going to use points at the specific index, and that's going to give me points at the specific index is going to give me the actual point. Okay, and to return. And then I'm going to do an index plus plus to go to the next index. And then at the end of this, it's I'm going to return to return. 
and then let's submit the code. Okay, what did we do wrong here? Uh, six, negative five, negative five, four. Something came up that should not be the issue here. Do, 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 do. Six, negative five, four, output expected, negative five, four, four, six. So we are not going through the right order. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let hold up. Let me just see something real quick. See, I've done this problem before, but let's see. Distance pop. It should be right. Index. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to add it from the beginning to the end. Points at the index. Okay, let's try this. Instead of doing K, what if we try pushback? Because I feel like we're not adding it correctly to to return. Uh, let's see, to return dot push back points at. Wrong answer. Okay, that's the same thing as before. Let's see, what are we doing wrong? Let me go scroll down to that first to pop, push. Dot second, pop, index. It should be right, it should be the same. Which, what am I doing incorrectly? Max heap that size less than K, max heap that push, distance IK, points with distance is less than two to first, max heap that pop, distance IJ, did I do, 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 max heap, yep. Did I calculate double wrong? Let's see, two return points K, Something is not, something's not right. Okay, um, maybe it's this part. Uh, okay. Max heap, okay, index, let's do index, int index is gonna equal to this. Max heap dot top dot second. Pop, then we're going to return dot push. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Push back. Whoops. Hmm. Something's not right. Double, double int. Pair double, double int, max heap, in double int, int. Square root of point zero plus percent point. Qrt point zero plus Which one, what am I doing wrong? Let me check my accepted. Something, max heap dot pop, push distance. Oh. That's why. Should be a double. Distance returns a double. Ah, okay. That's the reason why. And it got accepted. Yeah. So the problem what we were doing is that we were turning a when we calculated distance, it should have been a double, not an int. That was my fault. That was completely my fault. But yeah, that's how you do this problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.